uh, welcome back. Moving um, beyond lamps, um, let's go ahead and shift into the basic classifications of lights, wash lights versus spotlights. Um, and each one of them have different reflector and lens characteristics. And as we get into the very specific types of fixtures and how they're named, we'll discuss their specific reflectors um, and lens characteristics. But essentially, let's talk about the two basic classifications here, wash lights and spotlights. Right, so a wash light is in this first image here, and you can see that there are, there are four, there actually are six if you look at the top here. But these, these lights provide a very soft, general coverage of the entire space. They just put out a lot of light, and they cover a broad area, and they're soft edges, and it's difficult to see where they where they might, um, you know, where their edges end. They don't have a defined circle. They're just putting a very soft, broad, bright light out. And they excel at doing that at short distances, right? So this is not very tall right here. It might be 15 or 18 feet. Um, and sometimes wash lights excel at very close range, just two or three feet. But a wash light just provides a big, broad, um, bright, soft edge light, and typically at a short distance. You don't want uh, um, a wash light at a really long distance as it'll just get all over everything. Now, spotlights, on the other hand, have a very tight controlled beam. And you can look at these where they, they make these shafts of light in the haze. They're often used to project patterns or gobos or shapes in, in the in the uh, haze or on the stage, right? So a, a spotlight has a very focused beam, a very sharp edge, and are capable of very long distances. And you can see in this example that, you know, they, they might be 40 or 50 or more feet away. They also can operate at close range depending on their lens, but they are capable of this very sharp edged um, shape. So some typical spot, uh, you know, types of spotlights. Spotlights tend to be more expensive than wash lights. They're just more sophisticated. They have more lenses in them. They have more glass. They require a better reflector. All kinds of different things go into um, the cost of a fix of a, any kind of fixture. But a spotlight tends to be more expensive, right? A, a type of a spotlight is a follow spot, and I'm sure that everybody's seen a follow spot on stage. Right? And maybe some of you have actually run a follow spot or know what I'm talking about, but that's a human controlled spotlight that follows the action around on the stage and projects a tightly controlled circle of light from the very, very back, oftentimes the highest point in the theater down to the stage to, to accent and isolate a performer that may move around on stage. Other kinds of spotlights are conventional spotlights, and you can just see a whole row of them across the balcony here, and even more across the bottom here. And they are focused in very specific areas of on the stage or on the scenery, and are very controllable, right? So as we move into wash lights, wash lights come in a lot of different shapes, right? Some of them may be used to light the stage, others of them used to light the scenery, um, and um, right, so wash lights, sometimes they're linear. If, if the high school that you were in may have had just rows and rows and rows of these colored lights across the, um, the pipes overhead that were just used to wash the stage in a lot of different colors. Some wash lights don't even have a lens at all. They just have a lamp and a reflector, and you put a giant piece of gel in the front of them, and they just put out a big puddle of light. Um, um, a psych is a backdrop, and I'll go into this a little more later on, but it's often a, a piece of fabric that hangs in the back of a theater that is then just bathed in color, and wash lights are really good at um, light, putting colored light on cycloramas. Uh, where, there we go. Our next slide, um, wash lights. They're soft, you, a soft edge beam of light that we've talked about. Um, they often only have simple size control. So rather than being able to adjust it to being sharp or soft, I can just take that soft beam and make it a little larger or a little smaller. 
in some instances by changing out parts or the lens of the fixture I can I can change the size so in this example of a par um, it uh, by changing the lens I can I can change the size and somewhat the shape of that um, wash lights are less sophisticated and tend to be less expensive they're really good at moving really intense bright colors um, of the um, to, to the stage so these are just some simple this is a par a par for now for now and we'll go into much more detail about these fixtures in subsequent units